four bushels, psychologist, and a couple of years ago, radio personality and mom of three, Jane Lily Thomas and I started a movement called Kindness Can, with the hopes of showcasing the fact that kindness is not always easy, but it is always an option. Kindnesscan.tv is another opportunity for us to share those kind stories with all of you. To subscribe, click below. So for our first episode, uh, we joined uh, Clint McLean from the Ubuntu Army and headed off to a crèche in Bombay. Um, I know that as soon as we arrived there, uh, we were absolutely blown away, for me in particular, the joy yeah. that was there. Yeah, I kind of got the feeling that where kindness lives, it becomes almost a magnet uh, and the whole community seemed to be gravitating towards that crèche uh, and all the love and kindness that was, was growing uh, and taking place there. So we are here at Sia Tatuka in Bombay, the Sia Tatuka crèche, and we're here with Lillian. Lillian is a coordinator for, for Sia Tatuka. A little background to the crèche, it um, services about 200 kids from Bombay, from the area itself. And it also looks after its really awesome program, which is started by the Bombay Project, where they look after the 68, 68, um, special stars, which are kids who are still school going age, who are all orphans who are living in the community, and then 27 rising stars, rising. who are the kids who have finished school, who are now out and about, and uh, the Bombay Project looks after all of them. Lillian is a coordinator extraordinaire, and uh, she's also got a fantastic uh, garden at the back that we are inspired by. Lillian, this is uh, Jane, and this is Paul. Hello, Lily. Uh, nice hi, Lillian. Nice to meet you. Yeah, guys. thanks for having, thanks us, for having yeah. us here. Thank you. So, what's, uh, what vegetables are you growing? Yeah, turnip. Turnip? Turnip. Okay. I don't throw any patana. Okay. And some mushroom they are ready to be harvested now. Oh, really? Yes, and some tomatoes there. Tomatoes? Yeah. Um, Ubuntu Army is now taking, trying to transition yeah. from giving food to growing food. So Lillian's just told me that she's collected a, a list of names yes. that we're going to go and plant gardens in. These children have so little as far as the material trappings of a lot of other children, yet they seem so happy with what they had. Mm. And I think for me as a parent, I am so aware and I have to be so conscious about not raising children that are entitled and that they are grateful for everything that they have. Mm. And you take these children that when we arrived, Clinton um, knelt down and gave them little crocheted beanies and the joy in their faces, it was literally like it was Christmas time. Yeah, absolutely. The greatest gift for a child, as much as, as giving and receiving is such a beautiful part of, of childhood uh, and of being a person in this world, but the experience of being safe and receiving kindness and love uh, far outweighs all of that. The interaction was far less about the beanie as much as the moment of Clint going down on his knees, looking them in the eye and passing on that feeling of, of respect, of safety, uh, of I want to protect you. I think the image that stood out was the, the vegetable garden, you know, driving up to the creche. It was just such a tough space, overcrowded, chaotic. Uh, it had become hard in so many ways. And then you stepped into the creche and where they started building the veggie garden, you could see the amount of, of energy and time and effort that must have gone into tilling that soil, breaking it open and, and exposing the kindness and the goodness that lay beneath it. And it kind of inspired me with the idea that no matter where you are in the world, if you've got a moment or a square piece of earth 
uh, you have the potential to to unlock something. And that really stood out for me. If, if being kind was easy, everyone would be doing it. And what I loved is that you stood on that hard soil and realized that hard work had gone in, you know? And when you drove into this particular place where the crash was, it felt like scarcity. Mm. But as soon as you drove through those gates and you saw that beautiful <laughs> rainbow on the wall, it was abundance. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Abundance is your birthright. That was the feeling that I got. And there are going to be days where it's really hard to, to toss that soil and get it aerated and get it all warmed up. But man, when it starts to bear fruit, everybody gets to eat, right? Yeah. And that's, and that's kind. So if you'd like to join us on our next kind adventure, please subscribe below. Uh, we can't wait to collect more stories of love and hope and kindness. Until we connect again, so much love, go well. If you'd like to get involved with any of the organizations involved in this story, uh, please see their contact details on screen.